Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Alan Sams, and today we're taking a look at this Gibson Les Paul Tribute. This one's in a uh, tobacco burst uh, finish. Uh, and this is a nitrocellulose finish, uh, but it's also satin. Uh, so it's not sticky. It's got nice, nice, uh, real smooth feel to the neck and also to the body as well. If you're not familiar uh, with the Tribute, uh, basically, it's Les Paul or Gibson's entry-level Les Paul. Um, it is made in the Nashville factory, just like you know the classic or the standard. Um, it is not an inexpensive guitar. It's not something you're going to pick up for 500 bucks. Um, but at the same time, it's a really good. I think it's just a really good workhorse guitar. Um, but listen, before we get into all the, the specs and all that stuff, if you're enjoying the channel, which I hope you are, um, if you wouldn't mind clicking the like button on the videos, it helps to get them circulated. And of course, if you feel so inclined to subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. And for everybody who has jumped on here in the last year, I really do appreciate your support. So let's get into the guitar. You've got, uh, you've got a mahogany body, maple top. It's got and the 490 humpbuckers, so it's a 490R in the neck and a 490T in the bridge. You've got a Nashville Tunematic bridge with an aluminum stop bar tailpiece. You've got four gold top hat um, knobs with a volume, volume, tone, tone. Some pretty basic things there. Now you'll notice that unlike, you know, a classic or um, a vintage, I mean, or, or a standard, there's, there's really no binding on the guitar. There's no binding on the neck. There's no binding on the body. Um, you can see it's almost like a natural binding where you can see where they've put the, you know, the maple cap on here. Um, and those are, you know, those are touches that when you buy a classic or a standard, they feel very high end. And, um, and that, and that binding and everything, it kind of helps with that. All right, so neck. You've got a maple neck. It's a five-piece maple neck. It's got two scarf joints, and then there's a way that they're, they're, they put wings on the, um, on the headstock there. You've got the Gibson Clouson-style deluxe tuners. Rosewood fretboard, 22 medium jumbo frets. Uh, and you've got the, the trapezoid inlays. Um, Three-way toggle switch. The poker chip um, is does not come installed on this guitar. Uh, they include it. It's in the gig bag. Um, but you have to actually install it yourself. It, it's not difficult to do. And if you have any questions about doing it, you can always reach out to me or leave a comment. Or, you know, to be honest with you, there's a ton of YouTube videos um, that address that. It's very, like I said, it's it's really simple. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's take a listen to it, and I'll give you some final thoughts on the other side.
so when I went to go uh, buy this guitar, I was I, I was Jones to put a uh, another Les Paul in my collection. I have this really bad habit of selling Les Pauls, whether they're Epiphones or Gibsons. Um, you know, I've I've had s several Les Pauls and done several videos about them um, over the years, and uh, so I looked at three. I looked at a uh, I looked at a standard. I looked at the classic and and I looked at this the tribute. For some reason, I really bonded with this guitar. Um, it's a guitar that I've played every day now for almost a week. I've done some recording with it since I've had it. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just one of those guitars. I don't know if it's the twelve inch radius. I don't know if it's this fretboard. I don't know if it's you know these frets are just they're they're perfect. Uh, the guitar is plucked. So, which is a computerized setup, basically, and make sure the, you know, make sure the, everything balances out. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it is about this guitar, but like I said, I almost immediately uh, bonded with it. It's not a, a, an overly heavy Les Paul. It's uh, actually, this one's 8.1 pounds, which is about a pound to a pound and a half lighter than what the average uh, more high-end Les Paul is going to weigh. Um, this one is ultra modern weight relieved. Um, so if you're on Gibson's website, if you're looking, to, you know, looking to get more information, it's going to be under the modern uh, series of guitars. Um, but anyway, guys, listen. I, I hope this will give you some insight into the Les Paul tribute. Uh, these guitars are retailing right now for $12.99, and it does come with a really nice Gibson gig bag. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I hope this will give you some insight into the guitar. And, you know, as always, guys, I appreciate your support, and until next time.